gonna be an interesting conversation. You think so? What are we about to talk about now? <laughs> you tell me. I want to know what we about to talk about. I want to know like what's the criteria for having fire pussy. You gotta change your words a little bit. It can't be that mediocre. We gonna have to say kitty or something. Say kitty. Fire poom poom. Okay. I don't want to get demonetized. Well, I ain't even getting paid on this channel. Fire poom poom. All right. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for you to get situated. All right. Okay. Yeah, what's up with your drawer? Oh, don't break it. I think it's already broken. Oh, God. My mother is probably. Behind the drawers. Can you like detach it? Yeah, bro. Blue, blue. My head tied. Mm. Dang, this thing looks like it's holding me. Like, God. Go ahead, bro. You ready to start? What you want to say, man? Let me get my nipples out of that camera. <laughs> All right, what you got to say, man? I want to know. I want to hear it from your mouth. Yeah, I give an introduction. What, what What made you? All right, hold on. All right, so look. I want to get both of us in the camera. So basically, right, we was having this conversation because me and my homeboy was having a, a conversation about something else. And I'm going to try to keep this as PG-13 as possible, even though this conversation might get a little rated off. It's not gonna That's get, all on you. It's not going to get crazy. So, basically, we was talking about how certain females that have good kitty be crazy. And how we don't really, like... Basically, we have a saying. If the kitty's too good, I don't want it. And then, me being an honest husband... Oh, you forgetting that you were my husband. You are my husband. Because we were best friends first. All right, and I get it. He was just running at the mouth. All right, and I said it. If if a chick have a good kitty, we don't want it. But I'm talking about crazy chicks. You didn't say that. You was just like, if the kitty is too good, then we don't want it. So I was just like, so do you just settle for me, your girl, kitty? That's not what you said. You basically insinuating that I said that you have mediocre kitty. Now, yes, because you married me. No, nah, I'm gonna well, say you're not running. You didn't run away from me and what I had to offer. I'm gonna be honest with you. No, now you want to be hundred percent. I'm about to be honest, honest with you. Okay. There's a rule that I follow. All right. Now I want this to be. We're gonna have the discussion, but we're not gonna be talking about your kitty because, as 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 a rule of thumb. I'm going to say this to any dude that's looking at this. You never describe any kitty you're hitting to anybody. Period. Especially other dudes because all you're doing is giving free advertisement. So, I'm not going to be advertising your kitty power level on fucking the, on the fucking internet. That's fine, but when you turn this camera off, I, I want to know. So, we could talk about the other stuff. What other stuff? You said what is the criteria for good kitty, right? That wasn't right. That was the, one of the questions you were asking. Yeah. What is the criteria for good kitty? <laughs> different people have different criteria. So, what's your criteria? And how many good kitties have you come across? Whoa, we're not doing that. We definitely, we definitely not doing that. Why are we not doing that? We're not doing that. Why are we not doing nah, that? No, we ain't. We not doing that. We're just not doing that. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that at all. I knew that's where that was going. <laughs> How many good kitties have you come across? Mind your motherfucking business. You are my business. Nah. Right now, I'm your business. So, right now? Always. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, the criteria for me for good kitty? For is it like a universal criteria? No, everybody? my criteria is different. different. Different dudes have different criteria. Like, if some dudes be like, yeah, bro. That joint gets wet. So, like, this not free advertisement for women if you telling them what your criteria is? That's for them. I'm not advertising you. I'm advertising But you can advertise yourself. Look at the devil standard. I'm not advertising myself. Because I'm not now, advertising my... So, now they can have the checklist like, oh, I have that. I have that. I have that. Okay, that's right. for them to decide. That, that I don't want them. Mm. See what I'm saying? Like, yo, stop trying to bend. We gonna have this conversation or not? Cause if you keep trying to flip the switch, I'm we gonna I'm turning camera off, and I'm gonna roll my ass over and go to sleep. 
what you want to do anyway. Nah, but we're not going to do that. You're not going to bend it. Don't make this about me. Don't, but don't look like you want you. me. See? You're wasting time. The battery about to die. Okay, go ahead. Where the other battery at? All right, so look. Different people have different criteria, okay? Some dudes be like, yo, her kitty get mad wet. It's good kitty. Um, my criteria is a little more. For me, it should be about the overall experience. You feel what I'm saying? It should be the overall experience. If you go to a theme park, right? Mm-hmm. You're going to remember the most thrilling ride. Every ride goes fast. Some rides have a drop. Some rides have higher drops. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, for me, it's the overall experience. So, don't do that. That's what you're doing over there with your right, thumb. So, basically, all right, so Shorty cut your crib, right? One, you, did she smell good? You feel me? Two, when you take the pants off, what kind of drawers she got on? Why does that even matter? It's the overall experience. If you go to dinner and they just slap your food on the table, you gonna feel some what type of way about it. What if she didn't plan on giving you the drawers? Like, and she just got on the grandma drawers. Like, don't no chick go to no dude crib with the grandma drawers on, unless she a virgin. Okay, touche. Yeah. Like, you don't go to no dude's house with the grandma job. You you put something on just in case because you never know. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, then. So, the, over the drawers, right? Mm hmm How everything come to come to pass. Like, how how you how your beef end up in her taco. Like, your beef don't just end up in her taco like that. So, what if she was, she initiated it? All right, that's another thing. How she initiated it? Cause but she I'm, kissed. That, that's a different category than how your beef ended up in her taco. I'm just saying it's when I say how your beef ended up in the taco, I'm saying like point from point A to point B. Give an example. You have to start off from someplace. Like you feel me? Did she start off kissing? Was she either right kissing? With me, I wasn't really kissing joints back in the day, so that wasn't really me. You feel me? But you know what I'm saying? Just the the old, like different people have different different things. But like, that's what I was saying. I'm saying so like, does it matter? Like if it was easy, if it was hard? Or I'm not talking saying? about. I'm not talking about how easy it is, how hard it is. I'm talking about like, all right. Sometimes you know you might kiss somebody, right? Mm-hmm. But. Everybody don't kiss the same. Just mm-hmm. how everybody's foreplay is not the same. Right. Like, you might have some chicks that, like, get somewhat aggressive. They might kiss you and, like, they might grind on you and, and get you, get you whatever, give mm-hmm. you a little stripper move. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have some chicks that don't know how to do that. Got you. You know what I'm saying? All right, so now you get to there. Now, the overall experience as far as the, the whole thing... Mm-hmm. I'm forgetting the kitty got to smell right. That was number two. I said that? Yes. How the kitty smell? Yeah, unless you're talking about how she smells and the kitty. They're two separate was, things? Yeah, it's two separate things. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, the kitty got to smell right. If it smell like water, it's good. You no, know, water don't got no smell. So that's the reason how it's supposed to smell. Unless she, whatever. But anyway, that. Now, you get down to business. Is she lazy? Is she not lazy? You feel me? Like some chicks are lazy. Like how do you say? <laughs> I'm being nah. I'm saying well, they can't lazy, see. They can't, not lazy, lazy. They can't see my hand. But Your I'm fingers, saying like yeah. some chicks are lazy. Like mm-hmm. some chicks just want to lay there and take it and don't do nothing else. Mm-hmm. That counts in the overall experience. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Some chicks try to get head, don't know how to do it. That counts in the overall experience. Um, some chicks complain about certain positions. That counts in the overall experience. That's, I mean, that's pretty much for me. I don't just go for, oh, it feels good. Oh, pussy feels good. Okay, so, you kind of listed the criteria, but you really didn't. 
What you mean? Like, okay, some do this, some do that. So what is your criteria? It, so I like for her to like, smell like water. I like for yeah, I'm pretty much the process that. for me to get from the taco to the the meat is this. Ta- I'm not getting from no taco to no meat. What the hell? I don't know the meat to the taco. My meat getting to the taco. Yeah. You gotta say that right. We in two we in twenty twenty now. Okay. Yeah. I like for her to like Grind on my taco. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm <laughs> <laughs> my meat. Yo, no, bro. I'm saying like she just got a um. It's just the. I don't know, bro. It's just different. Different people got different moves. It's, it's just. So what moves you? You said what moves me? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna say I don't know, but I'm. I don't know, it's a new experience. It, what moves me is the experience. Like, if I enjoy it. You might do something different from somebody else, and I might enjoy it, but you might do something different from somebody, and I might not enjoy it. That, does that make sense? The first sentence made sense, yes. Yeah. I don't go if I like how Pum Pum shit. Oh, it's pum pum get wet. So if all of those things met your list, all of the things on your list, like a woman had and it uh, met your fact, requirement, matter, matter fact, matter fact, would you on. feel like you had to run? Would you feel threatened or would you feel exhilarated? Because I don't mm, understand. Uh, which we get into the part about fem- of females with good pum pum are crazy. Not crazy, but you said the whole like they have you have to run if it's too good. So if you you know check if a the chick, feelings. Basically, what what we were saying is if a chick, you see how a lot of these dudes be acting over females. Yeah. What we saying is if somebody if a if a kitty get gonna have him doing that, I don't want it. If your kitty gonna have me doing stuff like that, I don't. But that's want what it. I'm saying. So that's not how women think. Women be thinking like. One of the reasons that he wiped me among my other beautiful traits is that it's because, like, this shit is fire and he want nobody else to have it. Don't nobody, so he don't wanted nobody, to, like, put this nobody, on a lot. Don't nobody wife chicks with good pum pum, son. That's, that shouldn't be the only criteria. No, I didn't say it was the only criteria, but that's... You saying that, it's like, so dang, so men out here just wifing women with, like... Mediocre. Mediocre kitty. That's what you're saying. Uh, mm. I mean... That's what you're saying. That's why most dudes be having side chicks, huh? Wow. It's the, the truth. The, the poom poom is good enough. It's good enough to marry. It ain't even... Bro, it ain't it, bro honestly, crazy. you, you want to you be honest? You want me to be honest with yes. you? I ain't trying to hurt your feelings on camera and shit like that, but... When, like, the... When chicks get in relationships, they get, like, comfortable. So, like, if you wasn't a freak from the beginning... And, like, you might do a little extra. You're going to get with a dude and he might love you for something else and he's going to marry you. But, like, you're not going to tap into that other side. You're going to be like, oh, well, shit. <laughs> I already got it. It's kind of like when they be like, yo, don't. I like um. how husbands get fat. What you mean? How, what are you talking about? Husbands? I'm talking about like when they get comfortable and they don't, like, maintain their whole look that they came with in the beginning. I mean, pretty much. Oh, they be like, I don't care, like. Yeah, I, I mean, she, yeah. She gonna stay with me forever, so it don't really matter how I look. Pretty much, but at the same time, like, when dudes, when dudes, like, if you're gonna marry a chick, right? If you're gonna marry a chick, you should marry a chick who, um, who come. With more than just good, good snatch. Absolutely, absolutely. You know what I'm but I'm saying like she don't just gotta be pretty. She don't just gotta be funny or whatever. She gotta be able to take care of stuff, and this, that, and the third. But at the same time, I'll say this to to females: if you like, sex is a big part of a, a relationship, huh? And if you just gonna half ass it, then you kind of setting yourself up for failure. Like, you could take care of everything else that you want to take care of, but if you're not taking care of that part of your relationship... Which is why it's such a big deal when you say things like women who 
you know, have good poom poom you stay away from because you don't want to get addicted. We're that not, means that you, not, you're not addicted to, like, the person that you decided to marry. Like, that's not an addictive trait for you. Yeah, but you don't want that. Like, even... It's not finna marry. Like, you could meet a chick that have good poom poom, but that don't mean you're gonna get married to her. I'm not saying that's niggas the only mar- reason why, but, but yo, that mar- should be one of the reasons why you marry your <laughs> woman is because this shit is good. I highly doubt that, no. What? No. That's blasphemy. That's purity blasphemy. Bro, no, bro. Niggas ain't finna marry no chick just because her poom poom is good. I didn't say good, just so. because. I'm saying if somebody. Okay, listen. So. If somebody, Greg, if he asks you, okay, not Greg, someone asks you, like, yo, what are the top five reasons you got married? Someone who didn't know me or anything like that. Top five reasons. I don't want you to list it, but I'm just saying, I would expect for that to be in there. No. No. Because, like, no. You're going to meet fire poom poom along the way. You gonna meet fire poop? How you gonna meet fire poop along the way if you don't? If you get married, you not gonna meet no more fire poop. I'm saying like before you get married to the person you get married to, you're gonna meet fire poop. Like and you just gonna hold on to the memories. Just, just is gonna be memories. Your best bet would be to try to, like, tr- I ain't gonna say train, but try to put your um, your spouse on to to something. That's when you start learning new things in your relationship. Which, why are you saying wow, son? I'm being honest with you. Every yo, you, it's a lot of dudes out here. So I don't hold on. I don't watch. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Hold on. Wait a minute. 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 So since we quarantine, right? They got they done gave out the um. Pornhub is is free, right? So I I be watching home videos and stuff. It's a lot of motherfuckers out here that got married to some females with some whack ass poom poom, son. Whack. And you saying married women be on there? Like, what, what do you mean? They be married couples on there. Oh. Making their home videos. And poom poom be what? It be trash. I feel as though you taking this as a personal attack on your character, on your vagina. You t- <laughs> you're taking this as a personal attack on your vagina. As a married woman, you just told me that like marry men don't marry women because of like you know them having that a good be vagina. A, that should be a compliment. I'm not saying that's that's the sole reason, but if it's right, not but the I, top five, right, let me, your I, top I, five. hold on. Let me ask you a question, right? Let me ask you a question, right? My nipples are on and all that. Let me ask you. Oh, my nipples. Milk the nipples, dog. But look, let me ask you a question, right? I want you to be honest with yourself, right? Yes. For the amount of time me and you, I, based on our love life, right? Yes. If if that was on the list, do you think we'll be together right now? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> based on how our love life be going. Yes. If that was on the list. Or not even that. If that was like high on the list. On your list. On my list. Do you think we'd be together right now? I think that it would have been like initially in order for you to like marry me. I felt like when we before we got married, it was on the list. You were like, yep, check, check, check. Now that we've been married. You got comfortable. No, I don't think that. You didn't get comfortable. It's not that I didn't get comfortable. I got more responsibilities and I just, I just don't deal with like sex the way other people do. Okay. I'm life be stressful, man. I don't just be like, oh, and you use, I'm stressed. And you get ding a link to relieve the no, stress. No, that's what most people do that. But to me, it's just another responsibility. All right, so to me, the, the, the poom poom shouldn't be on the list as a criteria to get married. But you I'm saying, Roderick, but when, when we were dating and we were much younger, like, I put the fire on you. So for you to talk, talk about, like, talk like that, I don't understand. Like, you put the fire I put the put, flames, like, boy, you, put, you was burning up. So you was burning me. 
Oh no, I mean in the yeah. best way possible. She like your goddamn words. No, right? your blood was on just, fire. Just I know what the put, fuck I meant. You put the you put the water on me. That's cool. So you put the water on me. But look, we're not finna be talking about your poom poom. You, you, I know you gonna edit this part out. It's fine. I, you should edit it out. But I'm just letting it be known, like to you, that I know in the beginning. I was. It's never about the beginning. You gotta be consistent. But not, life everything is not be, consistent all everything the time. Be good at, everything be good at the beginning. No, I'm talking about like the first five years beginning, not like the beginning, like straight out of high school. I was consistently like giving it up to you for the, the first five years of our relationship. And the, that's how every couple No, years, not, not five years, baby. That's, how every that's a couple, long time. Bro, that's how every that's couple. Bro, look, every couple be like that, son. And then they get married and then shit change. That's how it is. And they can start cheating and shit. Oh, so that's how it is with you? I'm chilling, bro. I'm good. I'm good. You can look at me how you want. I'm good, son. I'm comfortable. I'm, I've never been a lame, so I ain't got that shit out of my system. You've never been a lame. I'm saying, like, I, since you know me, I always got girls, right? No. So I never got girls when you know. No. I wasn't getting. Like, what do you mean? Since you've known me, like before me and you was together, right? Yeah. Okay. When I when I before we started dating, and, and I knew of you, I knew that you were dating somebody in our school, but it wasn't like, oh yeah. RJ, he be getting all the girls. Every time I see him, he be with girls. No. no. I knew he was with one girl. Then we started talking as friends. And then you started telling me about, like, girls that you talked to outside of our school that okay. I never met before. When, and then when me and you wasn't together, I was getting girls. That you told me about. Okay. But I never witnessed it. Well, I witnessed one girl because, you know, she made a remark on Facebook. So that part I do know that y'all, y'all was messing with each well, other. But this, if you didn't give me that information, I wouldn't have put, put two and two together. Well, like, I'm ooh, te- RJ I'm, just a okay. fucking pussy magnet. Okay, no. well, I'm telling you that when me and you was not together, and before me and you started dating, I was getting girls. I'm not the type of nigga that just started. Like, you know, certain dudes just had a girlfriend, had a girlfriend. We got married. Now we in the, I'm never been like that. I had a girlfriend. I had a couple girls. I had a few flings. Some more flings. And some more flings. I got married. I got it out of my system. This shit. I'm, I'm a little nasty mm-hmm. motherfucker. You got out your system. So what if like we didn't break up? You feel like you would regret marrying me? That's because a, you didn't have enough flings? I don't know. That's a good question. Mm-hmm. See, everything does happen for a reason. Don't do it. Don't do that. I'm just saying. The way you talking, I didn't. Ne- I never thought about that. We probably wouldn't like have got back together. To be honest with you. We probably wouldn't have got back together if what? If I wasn't talking to a whole bunch of girls when we broke up. Because oh. me talking to a whole bunch of girls kind of made me see like, like, this is trash. And that's one of the reasons we got married. Because I felt as though you were different. Even though, you know, the thing you consider to be weird is actually, for me, like, I, I find it attractive. What thing I consider to be weird? I'm just saying, just your your overall aura, your, your weird aura, I find it attractive. So. I have a weird aura about me. <sighs> You're different. Just because, no, I didn't know that I had a weird aura. I'm saying we you. both some weirdos, huh? Like, you always say that, but I don't quite understand well, that. Well, whatever it means. What makes you weird, RJ? What? What makes you weird? What makes me weird? Yes. So, I have lameish ways about me. What? Like, all niggas like anime. That's not lame. Well, most dudes watch anime. Most dudes read comic books. Most dudes know a lot about technology. Like I don't understand what makes you. Weird. I don't know. I just think differently. So I don't. A lot of people don't think the way I think. A lot of people don't think the way you think. So that make people. Some people consider that shit weird. You don't even like the way I think sometimes. 
But you still respect it? You still find it attractive? I respect it, son. Okay. Even though you roll your eyes at me when I tell you how I think. Yeah, but I respect it. It's cool. Like, I know for sure that if push come to shove, we not going to sink. Like, I know that for sure. Look, we on the quarantine for how long? You ain't worked in how many weeks? Three weeks. But you had money, enough money saved up and you're good. You're chilling. I've been on Facebook and I've seen hoes on there talking about, I'm thinking of starting the OnlyFans page. Because they don't got bread. I just saw Shaka Bars posted that. Like, what is that? OnlyFans? Mm-hmm. Bitches be taking pictures. And, and niggas be sending money. They, niggas be sending money and have special requests for type of pictures they take. And then... <sighs> Sounds like a little boosty situation. Now, a little boosty situation is they getting on, on, on Instagram Live and showing that kitty. And he might cash out him some bread if he like this. So, wait, how is little Boosie able to do that, but Tory Lanez is not? Why Tory Lanez not? Tory Lanez is going to But Instagram up. done, like, shut down his account twice. And he had to create, like, a whole other account. And For they shut real? that one down, too. Yes. How long ago was this? Is this recent? Mm-hmm. 